Radon is a naturally occurring radioactive gas. We're all exposed to it all the time, and in the UK about a thousand people die every year from lung cancers that are linked to radon exposure. Radon's created when naturally occurring uranium slowly decays in the ground, and as it decays it becomes radon gas which can seep to the surface. Outdoors, the radon gas disperses into the air quickly, but buildings draw in air and radon from the ground, so that's where we get most of our radon exposure. The health risk from radon depends on how much you're exposed to and for how long. Exposure to high levels for many years gives higher risks. But radon exposure also poses a risk to health at lower levels, especially if you're a smoker or an ex-smoker. Over the years, we've produced detailed maps showing the areas most likely affected by radon. You can look at these maps and see if your home is in an affected area. And if it is, you can get a test. They're easy to do, and fixing high radon levels is relatively simple. To test for radon, we use these detectors. You put two in your house, leave them there for three months, and then post them back for analysis. In a few days, you'll get a report telling you what the radon level is, and if you might need to take any more action. Homes come in all sorts of different shapes, sizes, and styles, so there are different ways of fixing high radon levels. The question we often get asked is, how much is this going to cost me? Well, fixes can range from a few pennies to several hundred pounds, depending on which one's right for you. There are specialist companies that can do the work, or you could speak to a local builder. Some of the fixes are relatively simple, and actually, if you're good at DIY, you could try them out yourselves. The key thing is, is to find out which fix is right for you and to do something about it. Don't let it get onto the list of things that you never get round to. One of the most popular radon solutions is called a sump. With a sump, you dig a bucket-sized hole under the house and connect up pipework and a fan like this to continually draw air with radon up away from the house and disperse it easily into atmosphere. Now, radon's being produced all the time under the ground, which means the fan has to keep working all the time. All you need to do is check it every now and again to make sure the fan's still working. As we've heard, radon comes up through the ground. Most fixes work by reducing the amount of radon that comes up through the floor. One system works by adding a fan to one of the existing air bricks. It can work in one of two ways. Usually it works by blowing in fresh air from outside to dilute the radon, but in some homes it works better by drawing out the radon. This is our loft. Hope you'll excuse the mess. We don't come up here very much, so it's a really good place to install a radon remediation system called positive ventilation. This works by taking air from the loft space and pumping it gently and continually down into the house. Now, because radon is drawn into the house from the ground, the positive ventilation system reduces the amount of draw and it reduces radon levels. There are other techniques. For some homes, fitting air vents at or near ground level can help. For others, it can simply be a case of clearing existing air bricks or replacing them in the outside walls. If you're good at DIY, or if you already have a builder, you can get free step-by-step -step advice online and download leaflets from the UK Radon website. Or your local council might have a list of radon contractors. Or you can just go and search online for radon contractors. Once you've reduced your radon levels, it's important to make sure the system keeps working to protect you and your family. Carry out any simple maintenance checks and retest the radon levels every few years. If you have any work done on the house, building work, for example an extension put on or double glazing put in, it's important to retest after this is done. Keep any details safe, you may need these if you sell the house. Radon exposure does bring health risks, but the key thing is we can do something about it. We can test, we can fix and we can maintain. You can find plenty of practical guidance on our UK Radon website.